got to see it through, my boy. We got to see it through. I'm like, I'm getting the f up out of here. You pull out a time. you pull out a McDonald's French fry. Looks like a limp. Dip. girl Angela and welcome or welcome back to my Chanel and to another weekly vlog I feel like I'm really pumping these out all right like I'm on a roll here I love filming these and I have no plans to stop so with that being said it is Monday baby and we are off with a bang not fully though because I had a really bad morning I'm not even going to lie I had a series of unfortunate events happen, but we will get into that a little bit later. I have some packages to unbox. So we'll have ourselves a little venting sesh as we always do, but right now I just really wanna get to the gym. <laughs> and I never thought I'd say that, but yeah, your girl, your girl just wants to let out her frustrations, let out her anger. And to be honest with you, I haven't been the most confident lately and i just don't like the way i look and i'm not fishing for compliments in any way i'm sure we all have things that we're just not the most confident about or we have times or moments when you know we feel insecure about something and right now for me it's my body because i've gained a little weight since my bbl so i'm making it a point to work out daily from here on out and you guys are gonna hold me accountable okay so today is day one. This is what I'm wearing. It's from Yvette. I will show you in the mirror. Actually, I have a few things I want to show you. So while my pre-workout kicks in, because it hasn't yet, believe it or not, <laughs> despite how jittery and fast I'm talking, my pre-workout has not hit yet. So let me show you what I got, because everything is super bomb. Like, look at this bra. Let me just, let, let's go for a little field trip, okay? Let's, let's go over to my coffee table, because... This is where I get that good lighting during the day. Okay, and let me grab the other things. Hold on. Woo, and we're back with the goods, some of which I had to pull out of my hamper because I've already worn these. I wanted to test them out before giving you my full review because that's just how I do. But thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Yvette, for sending me over these amazing pieces and sponsoring today's video. I am someone that has a lot of trouble finding sports bras that are not only stylish and cute, but also fit me and hold the girls. Because if you have larger chesticles like I do, you know the struggle with finding a good, high quality, maximum compression sports bra that doesn't leave you bouncing all over the place when you're trying to work out because no one likes it. Or at least I don't. I'm not gonna speak for everybody. I don't like that personally. I don't like to have to hold myself when I'm running and I do a lot of 12, 3.30 when I'm actually working out and that's what I plan to do from here on out. So these pieces are going to come in clutch. So this is the first piece I got. This is the Limitless V-neck cross back padded running bra. I got it in the colorway orange red in a size medium. And this is a high support sports bra with non-removable molded cups, adjustable crisscross straps in the back with mesh paneling in the front, V-shaped neckline, hook and eye closure in the back as well. It is also sweat wicking and completely wireless, so super comfortable. And I paired this bra with the Echo high-waisted running leggings in orange red. These are so breathable, comfortable, they're high-waisted, they have a four-way stretch, they're soft. I don't find myself having to pull them up during my workout. A lot of other leggings, they tend to fall, but these are compressive and supportive and just 10 out of 10. Another thing about these leggings is that they're made from sustainable fabrics. I believe it's 75% recycled polyester, which is so good for the environment. So if you're a girly, that is environmentally friendly, you're gonna love these even more. This combo together is just giving everything for the fall. I love the color. I love that it's still compressive yet sexy. And I see myself wearing this not only through the fall, but for a long time because this is just so, so cute. Next up, we have the dirtiest set in the bunch because I just wore this yesterday and I had myself a workout. Okay, babes. 
So this is the Enfold Hollow Out Padded Running Bra. I got the shade Royal Blue, which is very on trend this season. Again, in a size medium. And what I love about this bra besides everything, because it is very much like the bra that I'm wearing currently. However, the neckline is a little bit different. It has a scoop neckline and cutouts, which is just, again, chef's kiss. I feel like Yvette really takes into consideration the girls with bigger busts who still want to look cute when they work out, but also have that support. And that's exactly what they did with this one as well. Again, the non-removable cups, the hook and eye closure in the back. And again, this color is absolutely stunning. Very on trend this season. I'm seeing this so much. So of course I had to pair it with the matching leggings. These are the Shift Mesh Yoga Leggings in that same royal blue color. Again, I got a size medium. These leggings have a lighter support, but they also have this mesh detailing on the bottom, which is super cute. These leggings are absolutely perfect for yoga, Pilates, your daily stretch, your morning walk. They again have the four-way stretch and they just feel like a second skin on your body. Sometimes when I'm wearing Yvette, I have to like look down and make sure I still have clothes. Cause do you ever have those nightmares where like all of a sudden you're naked in a crowded room? Like that's how I feel wearing all this stuff because it's just so comfortable and breathable. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, these leggings definitely give that effect. And this combo, I mean, again, chef's kiss. I love all the colors on Yvette's site, but this is by far my favorite. I mean, this one too. What's better than a black set too? Just, just girl, just add it all to your cart at this point because I couldn't not get a black set because I feel like you could never have too many pairs of black leggings and black sports bras. So that's why I got this one. This one is a little bit different though. Let me get the name of this. This bra is the Limitless Adjustable Padded Running Bra. This bra is actually insane because it is adjustable in so many ways. Let me, let me just show you, okay. So unlike the other bras, this bra features removable padding. So so if you're somebody that likes to wear padding some days and not others, this is going to be perfect for you. This bra also features a zipper in the front, which I love because it's so easy to put on. But not only that, look at how many other ways this is adjustable because the straps in the back are adjustable as well as the band on the bottom. So you're getting a 100% custom fit along with the wide range of sizes that Yvette offers. I mean, when you see the sizes that Yvette has, you're going to be blown away. Actually, let me pull it up for you. Let, 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 me, just, let me just pull up this. Let me just pull up these options for you. Extra small, okay, extra small through 2XL plus. Insane. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's eleven different sizes, along with it being a hundred percent customizable just on its own. Insane. They literally thought of everything with that bra. And then I paired that bra with the Echo High Waisted Side Pocket Running Leggings. These are just as compressive as the first ones. I showed you the ones that I'm wearing currently. These are high waisted, high support four-way stretch but unlike the leggings i'm wearing currently these include a pocket which is absolutely perfect to hold your keys if you don't want to put your stuff in a locker i just love throwing my keys right in the pocket there and they are also full length and again like the orange red pair i'm currently wearing this is made out of 75 percent recycled polyester so again sustainable environmentally friendly i just feel like this checks all the boxes i knew from the moment that i opened up my yvette package that i was getting good high quality pieces just by the way that they felt like i could feel a difference and these honestly feel super high end, but with affordable prices. So what's better than that? I do have a coupon code for you. It is just Angela for 12% off. So don't forget to use that code when you add all these amazing pieces to your cart and let me know how much you love them because I know you're gonna love them just as much as I do. Okay, now I feel my pre-workout kicking in. So I'm gonna go to the gym. I will see you guys in a little while. Look, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am not a woman. <laughs> Or at least I shouldn't be one because I have such an internal struggle every single time I am preparing to leave the house to get my nails or my hair done. Like I absolutely hate it. There's nothing I hate more on this earth 
than getting my hair and my nails done. I love the end result. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not doing all this to impress everyone else and I just hate the way I look, no. I love the end result. I love having nails. I love having long, luscious hair. Love that. Hate the process. Absolutely hate it. The fact that I have to get a full reinstall today of all the hair I have in my head, and mind you, I have like four packs of extensions. It is killing me on the inside. It is not a good feeling. Oh, by the way, happy Friday. I don't know where this week went. I don't. I got my period yesterday. You can probably tell in my attitude that I am just on one. My period came like a whole five days early because I normally get it on a Monday or Tuesday and Aunt Flo decided to pop up on Thursday, which was yesterday. So I wasn't feeling well. I still had to film a video and it was just too much for me to take. So originally I was supposed to get my hair done yesterday. Like that was my appointment that I scheduled like five weeks ago. Then my girl texted me like last week and she's like, hey, one of my clients is a content creator for somebody you know, very well known. I'm not gonna name drop, that is very corny. And she's like, her content studio is in Jersey City. So if you want, we can do your reinstall there. You can get some content. And I was like, perfect. That sounds delicious. I was just thinking I can get TikTok content. I could vlog while getting my hair done. So it's not like that much of an annoying process. And I'm not just sitting there for hours doing absolutely nothing. Like I'll actually be working and knowing that I'm getting some like good content done, right? Then she texts me yesterday and says like her client had to fly out last minute because her boss, this very well known person, needed her elsewhere. So now I'm getting my hair done at the salon and I'm not getting any content. So yeah, that's how my week, that, that's just kind of been like the theme of the week to be honest with you. It's been like a series of unfortunate events. It's just been like one of those weeks where nothing went smoothly which is extremely frustrating, but I'm trying not to let it bother me too much. And honestly, ooh, ooh. And normally I would just let it bother me and let it fester within my soul. This week I booked a flight. <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting the fuck up out of here. So yeah, I'm going away. I don't know if I'm gonna tell you guys where I'm going yet. I don't know, we'll see, but I booked a flight. Hi, Edie West. Oh my God, I almost went the wrong way, bitch. I almost went the wrong mother way. See what happens. So yeah, I'm just gonna go away for a few days. Nothing crazy, but I just I just need to get away. I haven't traveled in a minute, honestly. I think the last place I went to was Miami for Miami Swim Week, and that was legit a 24-hour trip. So I really didn't get to do much besides work and then come home. So. I'm really looking forward to some R&R, but at the same time, every time I go away, it's it's never just like R&R. Like I can't just like wake up whenever. I have to have stuff planned. I'm gonna be filming and vlogging, of course. So that's just the life of a content creator. But honestly, I wouldn't change it for the world and you guys made all this possible. So thank you so much and I love you and I'm getting emotional because I'm on my period, okay. Anyway, I am still very far from my salon. So I'm going to turn off the camera and put on some music because this traffic is killing my vibe. So it is much later in the day now. I didn't do much vlogging at the salon, but I did take a video of what my hair looks like without extensions. I haven't seen my natural hair since May and it really hasn't grown <laughs> at all. So I need to start taking vitamins. So that is on my to-do list. I got home from my hair appointment around 2 and then I immediately just like ate and took a nap because I just wasn't feeling well but on top of everything that wasn't enough. I felt like I had something in my eye all day so I took out my contacts and now it feels worse. So I don't know hopefully it kind of just heals on its own. I think I have like a scratched cornea or something. I, I don't know it just does not it's just not feeling that good right now so i'm actually on my way to target to get some eye drops because i don't have any in the house and then i was like i'm also craving stuffed shells <laughs> so i'm gonna get stuff to make stuffed shells and i think my sister is coming over a little later so we could discuss vegas things i announced it on instagram so i could tell you guys i'm going to vegas that's the 
trip I just booked. I'm only going for a few days, so I really want to maximize my time there and kind of kill like five birds with one stone. Like I want to get TikToks done. Obviously like my vlog, you guys are definitely coming along. Like you guys are my priority type shit. And I also want to get photos and also look at some rental properties because I want to move. I don't want to be in Jersey anymore. I have one year left on my lease, but I want to start looking at where I'd like to be because at the end of the day, I don't have kids. I'm not married. I'm not even in a relationship right now. So why stay somewhere that I am unhappy? And yeah, of course I love being close to my mom and all of that, but like, girl, these lantern flies are enough to make me <laughs> leave New Jersey and never come back. So I'm gonna be doing all of that while I am in Vegas for the four days that I'm there. Like I said, it's nothing too crazy, but I do want to make sure that me and my sister are on board with plans because I would hate to get there and then just sit around all day and be like, what do you want to do? No, what do you want to do? What do you want to And just like, you know, I want to have somewhat of a plan going on. So, so yeah, she should be here a little bit later. I don't know though. She's kind of, um, yeah, we'll see though. But regardless, I'm going to make some stuffed shells and now cars pulling up next to me and I hate when they do that because then I can't film. But yeah, I'm on my way to Target right now to pick up all this stuff. And then um, I'll see you guys back at the house. I'm so sorry. I'm so low energy in so much of this vlog. But my period is like beating my ass. Like beating my ass. This camera crops so crazy. But hi guys. Happy Saturday. I feel like I've been low-key MIA all week. And I'm not even going to beat myself up over that because I got my period as I told you guys I was fatigued like yesterday when I was getting my hair done I was legit falling asleep in the chair as my girl Steph was doing my hair like, I was yawning. I was a mess. But speaking of which I never got to show you my end result the after of my reinstall if you will So this is it She replaced my weft on the bottom like my lowest weft with a 24 incher so my hair is extra long right now a lot of you guys ask me about my hair and what hair i have in my head i have two packs of bellamy i have a pack of volume and a pack of hand tied wefts so that's what i have in my hair and if you're looking for a good extensionist in the north jersey area hit me up because i will put you on to my girl but today I decided I wanted to be a baddie and do my hair and do my makeup because I've been feeling like crap all week. So I'm gonna take some pictures. I'm waiting for my sister to come over, but you know how that goes with my sister. Like, she's either super late or a no-show. She was actually supposed to come over last night and then she canceled last minute, which was fine because I didn't feel well. But today I really need her, so hopefully, hopefully she pulls through. But speaking of which, I mentioned yesterday that I just booked a trip and I am so excited. I have not been to Vegas since pre panty whammy. Like I was literally there a month before COVID hit and it was the most amazing experience. I was there for New Year's. We had the best view of the fireworks. It was so great. I'm so excited to go back. However, I had my doubts if I even wanted to go, especially with my sister because first of all if you're new to my channel hi my name is angela and i have a sister who is three years younger than me who is my polar opposite in every sense of the word right so with that being said <laughs> my sister is opposite in even her sleep schedule so i wake up at 8 a.m no matter what time i go to bed i can go to bed at 4 or 5 a.m and i'm still waking up at 8 my body is like 8 a.m let's go and we got stuff to do right and then i'm in bed at 10 no matter what like that is my schedule my sister goes to bed <laughs> at 8 a.m. when I'm waking up and sleeps all day. And that is her schedule and that is totally fine. And in the past, I would get angry, I would get frustrated. I'm not doing that anymore. Those days are long gone. I'm not trying to control her or her schedule. However, I do let her know like, hey, like this is when we're leaving. This is when our reservation is. 
this is when I need you to be here. If you cannot be here or won't be here, I'm going to have to go without you type ish, right? So I was on the fence about going to Vegas because of that very reason. Like I don't want to be sitting in the Airbnb all day waiting for her and her friend to wake up and get my day started at 5 p.m. Like that's a waste of a trip for me. And also the fact that we're not staying on the strip, like if we were staying on the strip, like yeah, maybe I can go downstairs, get a cup of coffee at the cafe or go for a walk. But even with that, it's like we are living in such a dangerous world right now where I'm hearing about sex trafficking every five minutes abductions are occurring and frankly i don't want to be another statistic okay you're not gonna get me bitch <laughs> i stay strapped so i made that very clear i actually called her and i was like look i really want to go on this trip but because me and you are on such opposite schedules i don't know if it'll make sense for me to go i don't want this to be a waste of a trip i like to plan out some activities and some dinners before i even get there are you down to do that and she was like i fully intend to be up like i have stuff i want to do too so we will see what happens because we have not had the best luck with vacations in the past one of the times we went to mexico because we legit got into a fist fight <laughs> it was so so bad but anyway yeah i'm just waiting for her to get here i texted her but i don't even know i don't even know if she's getting my messages because i think her phone died yeah anyway so that's the plan today she's gonna come over we are going to get my picture done because I need a picture for this brand that I'm wearing right now. And we're going to go shopping. She needs to get some stuff for her trip because she's actually going to LA first for work and then to Vegas. So she has like two weeks of clothes that she needs to buy. Like my sister doesn't have clothes. She always took like all of like my fashion over hand-me-downs and now she just needs her own stuff. So that's the plan. Oh yeah, so that's where I was going with this. And then we're going to come back here and we're going to plan out the Vegas stretch of her trip because I'm going to be there for a few days while she's there. So that'll make me feel a lot better knowing that we have stuff actually planned so I could prepare to vlog and I can plan my outfits and all that stuff. So that's the plan for today. I really don't know what time she's going to get here. Let's start making our bets. It is 2.42 right now. She was supposed to be here after 2. She didn't give me an exact time. But it's now 2.42. I don't think she's going to get here until 5 or 6. What do you guys think? Place your guesses down below. And don't skip ahead either because that's cheating. But yeah, I'm going to put my sheets in the dryer now and just clean up, do some housework. And then I'll see you guys when she actually gets here. Sorry if it's loud in here. I have both ACs going. Apparently, it still wants to be summer here so bad. It's 80 something degrees right now. Anyway. I just noticed that my under eyes look so crusty and it's because I'm using retinol again. And this is always the point where I stop <laughs> and I'm like, no, I can't do this. I can't deal with the crust, okay? And like the flaking and like the patchiness of my skin. But got to see it through, my boy. We got to see it through because I want glowing skin. But yeah, my makeup has been looking real crazy, especially under my eyes because that's where my skin flakes off the most when I use retinol, so very annoying. But nothing a little smoothing can't fix in my pictures. Speaking of which, I need to take mine like right now before it gets dark. My sister, not that, not that it's gonna get dark anytime soon, but knowing my sister, like she just shows up at like 10 p.m., but apparently she's on her way right now. Allegedly, I should say. So she should be here in a few. We'll see though. We gon' see. So, bye. Do I have to pay for the beer? Yeah. Oh no, not when I'm talking to Sarah. <laughs> well, well, yeah. well. Christina's here. Okay, so yeah, pay and then we'll we'll go up. Okay, so Christina is finally here. And I need my picture and the sun is hitting perfectly. It's hitting white. So I'm it's gonna I'm gonna set up my camera.
got the money shot. Now we are going to clean out Christina's car. Money shot. Um, what stores do you want to go to? They're in Hackensack? Christina. Oh my what god. What the f is that? Imagine like this. Well, everybody's like looking up at the ceiling like, what is that? They're probably doing something about the pool? I know, like, scared. So we're done with my pictures, that was really quick, and now we're gonna go shopping. Christina's gonna take me to her favorite spots. Like, I'd rather spend $300 on so many different things mm -hmm. than $300 on like, three things. I have to see their prices because Amazon has really good prices too. When are you leaving for LA? Tomorrow. I like Tomorrow? Mm-hmm. What time is your flight? Night, 5.30. Oh, shit. We I gotta go. I didn't even do my laundry yet. Oh my god, we gotta go. All right, we'll see you guys in a few. <laughs> have a medium fries. Medium fry? Yes. Okay. Um, a large chicken fries. Mm -hmm. And a large jalapeno cheddar bites. Four pieces, eight pieces. Eight, ple eight piece, please. Okay, do you think Um, do you want to drink it? No. Um, can I have a small lemonade? Actually, oh, make that too. Make that too, I'm <laughs> sorry. And that should be it. Thank you so much. you could drive up. Thank you. Damn, they got expensive, huh? Bro, me? Arm and the leg. I remember when BK used to be $10 for like three meals. When did this happen? $20. Oh, rich bitch Christina. I didn't realize that Christina's flight was tomorrow. So she has to like go home and get her shit. Got my eyebrows done. I got the hairs off of my chinny chin chin. Damn, I'm super Damn. pale. Fuck. I feel like a naked mole rat. Oh yeah, you look kind of pale right now. Right? I look sick. This is a mukbang. Time to eat. I hate oh, when you go to BK. Can... When you go to certain places, like oh, it's extra for sauce. Or it's extra for. I know. It's or... like uh, you're a multi-billion. Yeah. And I'm like, I will pay for it though. Like, just fucking give it to me. I got money. I got money. I yeah, will pay yeah, for it. Yeah, delicious. Right? Best BK ever. I would go out of my way to go to this speaker. Fire. Wow. <laughs> you okay? Uh huh. <coughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> the after. <coughs> Whoa. Still good though. A little spicy. I give this BK. And carny and stars. Like, look at how crispy. Show, show, show the people how crisp the fries are. Like crispy, like crispy. It's huh? great. Like when I think of Wendy's, Wendy's fries, I think of something smushing it down. That's Wendy's, all. they they forget the salt all the time. Yeah, that's Why? true. And like half the fries brown. Uh huh. You pull and out of you pull out a McDonald's French fry, looks like a one. Burger King quality control, a one. Mm hmm. You could. You could ASMR. hear it. <laughs> ASMR. see her is in vegas so this is like a moment so no, i look so raggedy all right bye, bye. Mm, i love you i love you i'll see you in vegas Aww.